most Nigerians actually think Dangote is the only uh, cement uh, producer in Nigeria, but no, we actually have three major cement companies in Nigeria, one of which is Lafarge. Lafarge has been in the Nigerian market for more than uh, 60 years now. So, and then aside Lafarge, there is BUADA, which is owned by a native Nigerian, a house man, of course, and his name is Abdul Samad Rabiu. So, and his company is called BUA. They have been, they largely dominate the, 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 the North. So, Dangote himself has the capacity to produce at least 48 million uh, metric ton per annum of cement and 30 million, almost close to 30 million of which is produced in Nigeria. Then we also have Lafarge, which is the, which is an international conglomerate uh, which produces at least 14 million metric ton in the in Nigerian market. Then, uh, on the other side, you have the BUA, which produces at least 11 million metric tons. So BUA is the last uh, company in, in, in Nigeria. So they are tiny with their tiny capacity. So why am I making this video? I'm making this video particularly because BUA just signed a very interesting contract with a, a Chinese a giant company to establish at least three uh, additional uh, plant in Nigeria, one of which is to be located in Edo State, the other one is to be located in Adamawa, and the other one is to be located in Sokoto. They already have plant already in Sokoto. So he is increasing uh, three uh, plant, and each of these plant has the capacity of producing at least three million metric ton uh, uh, per annum of, of cement. This is really quite interesting. This shows that this man at least has some confidence in the uh, uh, Nigerian uh, market to uh, produce uh, more and additional uh, uh, cement. So when it comes to the fixing of rice, what we're going to see from now henceforth is that the Nigerian GDP is projected to click at least one uh, trillion USD by the year 2030. This shows that there is a massive opportunity for any company that want to invest in Nigeria. And what Abdul Samad Rabi just did recently is a demonstration of that. So you have to have confidence in this country and try to find your niche, try to find an industry, try to create a business. If people, local investors, are able to invest uh, 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 their, uh, their money into the local industry, then you would also have to think. Now, a lot of people have so many questions. You know, the, so people ask, what is the cost of of, of the of the of the, of the investment? Is at least 1.5 billion uh, USD, and it's going to provide jobs for people in other state, and it's going to provide jobs for people in other state, and also in the uh, uh, Sokoto. And what is the issue of, of security that we're having? The plant are already there and they are functioning. Now, I have. 100% confidence in this individual because I know when I speak like this a lot of Nigerians are skeptical about the viability of this project whether it's going to get it to fruition or not these are private project this is not a Nigerian state owned uh, project this is not uh, a federal government we all know that private investment always uh, thrive when done with the media announcement that is going to build the refinery in Lekki everybody say oh let's wait until we see but look at what is happening right now he succeeded and it's done already so also I know and I have 100% faith in Mr. Abdul Samad uh, Rabiu Al Haji Abdul Samad Rabiu that he's going to accomplish this now what is the targeted date for the accomplishment of this project this is the they say the fixed date is 2022 so we have now 2020 2021 and 2022 now they just signed the the contract and they are going to go straight into a construction now i look forward this news gladdens my heart and i look forward into the uh, completion of this project so i will just stop here i will not talk more than this i will give you the opportunity to leave your opinion write your comment let me know what you think about this what do you think about this project what do you think about the private led investment so when the issue of money monopoly in the Nigerian market is coming. I have seen a lot of debate surrounding Dangote and the issue of monopoly. We have to stop that. We have to understand that Nigeria is going from the... Nigeria was once the largest importer of cement in Africa and is now strategically positioning herself to become the largest exporter. In, in, uh, no, no, no. I did I say largest importer in Africa? Largest importer in the world. That was what Nigeria was. But look at where we are right now. We now have the capacity to produce all or what we need in Nigeria. So we want to see more of this project. We want to encourage some of this company to you buy the Nigerian product and we see how we can be able to grow them. Now they are not just going to stop in cement, they are going to rice, they are going to sugar. We have seen that. These are private late investment. That is why I have 100% confidence in them because nobody will go to the bank and say, give me a loan. I will not be able to fulfill his project. And this is what we are going to see. So 
just let me know leave your opinion okay let me know what you think about this and i will give you all the details all right sharp